If you are a photographer, anybody that works with photos, whether you're doing it for websites, uh, you often would come across the need to do compression of images. And I have gone through, I wouldn't say hundreds, but a lot of different compression uh, programs, commercial, free versions and everything. I've not seen anything as competent as this free open source uh, piece of software. It's called Casium Image Compressor. Um, you can get it on GitHub. Um, it, it's totally free, the developer. I think it's somebody, uh, an Italian person. You can just donate to them and help them. And it's always good just to put a couple of uh, dollars into the account just to show your appreciation. And it helps also to keep on developing the software. So the claim is it compresses your images up to 90%. And when I saw this initially, I thought to myself, okay, this is probably a bit of an ominous claim because most people claim these things, but they don't deliver on that claim. So I started using, and this is a while back already, I started using it and I've never turned back. So I just wanted to show it to you because I think a lot of people out there don't know about the software. So it, um, I should say, unfortunately, it's only available in Windows and in a beta version for um, users of Linux. And there is a web version also. So if you go to products, you'll see there's a, a mobile version, but they're all in beta. So I, I really wouldn't consider using these, rather just get the full KCM version. So as you can see, it's open source and you can come here, download the application. Once you see the power of this application, you literally will not go to use anything else. Um, I've got a, a two screens on my other screen here. You'll see there's tons of graphic image programs, all of them, nothing comes close to this. And let me show you how this all works. So I'm going to open up the KCM application and let's have a look at this. This is what the application looks like. It's uh, interface with the image that comes here and the altered image here. But before I load the images, I'm just going to briefly show you what it does. So the bottom left corner is just to adjust the the overall quality. And by default, it's set on 80% of the original image quality and then you have the different formats i suggest you leave it on jpeg that gives you a, a nice compression ratio uh, if you click same for all that's because if you drop in hundreds of images here it will apply these settings to all of them without you doing the selection okay so i'll just click that on although i'm just going to pull in one image to show you the resize if you click this here just make sure you got aspect ratio and then you can do an absolute or percentage uh, when you have an image pulled in and you select it, it will pull through the sizes here and then you could do the modification. The same for all is also applies here that if you do a resize, it will apply that resize on all the images without you doing the selection. Output folder, this is um, where you want to go and create the files to reside. If you choose to have it in the same folder where the file is, it's going to give you a suffix here that's going to add to each of those images so that it doesn't overwrite the original names. Okay, so I'll leave that on because I'm going to use a single photo just to show you how this works. Keep structures, just if you pull in, if you drag and drop a whole folder and subfolders, it will keep that structure. So this is for opening the folder. The other one is just for a single picture. Okay, so I'm going to go and just drag an image that I have here. This is a photo shoot that my daughter did with a lady from somewhere up in Europe that came on holiday in South Africa. So what I'll do is if you tap on there you can see this is 104 megs but built into that there's a few other sort of meta, meta tags and metadata and all that sort of stuff which makes the file about 107 megs. So I know that because I've tested it out here before. So if I drag it over here, um, you can see it's 107 megs. Now we have a 107 meg file and we can just drag this open. If I click onto that, now if I just select it, because we only have one file, it's a TIFF file. Um, usually I have to click preview for it to bring it into the preview window here. Uh, but it will show you what the size would be if we have it set with that quality. Now I'm going to disable resize at the moment because I want to do them individually so you can see it. So if I go on there now and I just click preview, what it's going to do now is it's going to take keep the resolution the same 
And can you see there, it's dropped it from 107 megs down to two megs. That is incredible. It's almost a 98% or it is a 98% reduction. And what it's done is, it's all it's done is taken the, the algorithm and pulled down the quality by about 20%. And it hasn't even resized it. The sizes are exactly the same. So if we look over here, let's see, just minimize that. That's what we have. Now for the keen eye, for the photographer, you'll look at this and you'll think, okay, that image, the original is more warm than this image. But I think it's got to do with this preview of the program itself because when you do process the actual um, compression of the size and you look at the two we'll have a look just now you'll see there's absolutely no difference between the two okay so what we are looking at here now is a fully uh, compressed 20 percent down on it it's down to two megs i'll do this processing and then i'll do the same file and then modify the sizing and maybe give two sizings and we'll have a look at that so to process it, there's a few other features here and you can go through it in your own time. I'm just trying to sell the idea of the power of this program so you can see it for yourself. So I'm going to click compress. You can click either there or here at the bottom. So um, let's see here. I'm going to just pull up this other window. And the reason I'm doing this, oops, let me pull this here. The reason I'm doing this with both windows is because the compression and the quality is so phenomenal that when I saw it for the first time, I thought, no, this, you know, they must have stopped the recording and used another file or something like that because it was kind of too impressive along the way. So that's why I'm keeping this open so we can see it in real time. Let me just pull that across. So if I click compress. Okay, there the file pops in there. So that's the other one. So it's saying it saved you 102 megs. And that's done it in 3 seconds, 3,35 seconds. It saved 102 megs. The file sizes are exactly the same. It's just the compression algorithm that's been applied to it. Okay, and quality, as I said, you'll see it now when we do the preview between the two in another application. So onto this now, I'm also going to do a resize of let me see the height is the biggest size so i'm going to take this down to say 1980 and then we are going to let's see i'm going to just move this across i think i'm going to make this a bit smaller okay medium yeah that size so we can see the other one as it pulls through yeah now i'm going to say preview so i can just see what the effect is on the sizing there we've taken it down to 287 kilobytes we're talking from 100 megs to 287 kilobytes this is incredible and we've just reduced the size that's why we're having more of an optimization so i'm going to say compress oh wait 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 wait, wait. you know what's going to do it's overwriting this actual one so i'm going to just go back and let me just bring in the original. My apology on that. I wanted to do, let me just drag in the original. And yeah, I'm going to do no resize on this. And I'm going to rename this to say comp. So the comp is the one that just has the 80% over here. Okay, so I'm not going to click preview still. I'm going to just click compress. And it will do it all in one go. Okay, so it's it's putting it out there and there again it saved us 102 megs. So the next one I want to do is I'm going to do the say comp 800 and then add the resizing down to this. No, not the, yeah. Okay, the previous one we did had these settings. So I'm going to just take it further down to 800 pixels. Okay, so we have this one. Here that I'm on here, this one was with that optimized down to 1980 pixels or something that I chose. Um, the lady comp that was without changing the size, just the compression here. And this one I'm going to do now with comp 800 is changing the pixel size down to 800. So usually if I'm working on a website and I just want an image that's going to be maximum 800, this is what I'll use. But just check this out. I'm going to click preview here. Look at the sizing here. We're going from 109 megs down to 66 kilobytes. And look at this quality here still. <laughs> this is just beyond phenomenal. 
Okay. So, and this guy who, who wrote this program, make, making it open source, um, has done an incredible job. And lots of these massive companies who claim that they have the best algorithms come nowhere close to this. Okay, so if you press compress, we're going to have that one coming through. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Um, I'm going to make them a bit bigger. So as we said, this is the 800. This is 66 kilobytes. This one is the still the same size. And what one is this? Oh, this one is the one that altered size. Okay, so now I'm going to open up these images and of course the 800 is going to be slightly smaller on the screen so let's see what this one is this is the 1978 pixels by 1318 so here we've done the 80% of quality and we've dropped the size a bit okay now I'm going to flip through here you'll see this one is a bit smaller it's 800 pixels but just look at the quality let me flip back again okay so this one here is that two megapixels at 55 zoom this is 100 percent 800 but you can see for the purposes that we're looking at it look at the qualities now i'm going to carry on moving through this one is same re same resolution as the original but just it's optimized it down to two megs okay and then i'm going to flip through this is the 107 meg and the main thing you can look at is 107 2 megs, 107, so it even takes longer to load, 2 megs, there's no visual change that happens here, and then if I take it even down to the, you know what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just go out, and I'm going to delete the 800 one, because we, we realize it's it's smaller than that, and, and we realize that it's, it's a very small one, so it's optimized for website 66 kilobytes, but I want to show you the purpose of just navigating through it so we can see how the quality works. Okay, so this is the 2 meg. This is a 280 kilobytes. 2 meg, 280 kilobytes. If you really look close, you probably will see probably a slight softening that is not really visible to the normal, you know, person looking at it. And I think that softness is related to the fact that there's a bit of a, a zoom factor here. We're at 19%. This we had 55%. And then of course on the original file, uh, we 19% zoom. On the, the one that's just been optimized down by 20%, we also on 19% zoom. And this one is the one where we optimized it by 20% and we changed the size to be a bit smaller. So if you're just looking here and go, I'll flip through, I'll flip through, flip back, flip back there's nothing that happens as a change here you can see the quality is incredible so i would say if you're not going to be using it on a web where you need to get it down to 800 this 288 and you probably could still tweak it a little bit better if you want to but this is a 288 kilobyte file a version of the original which is 107 megs so I, I trust that this gets you very excited about the potential of the software to help you with compression. There's nothing that I've, and I've been fiddling with tons and tons of programs. There's nothing that come close to this. And it's totally free. So go to get it. Here, here's the address. What's this say? Say there's a soft KCM. Um, go over there. And uh, if you go to GitHub, you'll see the guy who's put this together. I think he's there. He's, What's this, Matteo Paionesa? Um, yes, he's from Italy. You know, when guys do this and they do it for the love and the passion of uh, the creatives, it's worthwhile just investing in them, putting some, you know, dollars into the account. And yeah, you can see the contributions that are made. So just go make an extra contribution and help him to get these things even developed to a next level. Great stuff. Hopefully that helps you and you start to have fantastic images and save a lot of space remember even if you're wanting to save your stuff on your local hard drives and all that um, this is an excellent way to resize all your stuff and still keep your quality so you could take a hundred meg file drop it down to 200 kilobytes and still have the resolution the same quality right up there okay 
So have a fantastic day and God bless.